what is going on YouTube Foxy Girl welcome to you guys today with a brand new video and in today's video We're gonna be checking out the Vesper the Scorpion Evo We're gonna be checking out the Spitfire and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how good this gun actually is because this gun fucking melts So I hope you guys do enjoy we're also gonna look at the brand new update that came out yesterday We're gonna look at safeguard the new game mode and we're gonna look at sunset sun, uh, sun, Sunrise some shit like that and night firing range. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, let's try and smash three hundred likes on this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's go, bro. So safeguard. If you guys don't know what safeguard is, I had a couple of people ask me yesterday what safeguard was. Think of it as something similar to gridiron, but like it's not gridiron at all. It's like if you guys play Black Ops Three, you guys know what safeguard is. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what safeguard is if you play Black Ops Three. But if you didn't play Black Ops 3, then you might not know what Safeguard is. So basically, you see this uh, red thing on the screen? Yeah. The enemy is trying to escort that to the goal, which is this blue thing right here. So essentially, it's kind of like Gridiron, but it's not really like Gridiron. Because, like, I can't take the robot and pick it up and run across the, run across the place. He's walking backwards. I don't know why. There we go. Nice little two-piece. And, you know, I call this the Scorpion Evo because, you know, back in Black Ops 2, there was the Scorpion Evo. And everyone kind of calls this the Vesper. But I really, really like the Scorpion Evo. Hold on. Hold on. It's one. No, he's at the fucking strobe light! Little bastard with the strobe light, dude. Hey, these guys are on the flank. There we go. Nice. No, dude, come on. I'm kind of glad that they made this playlist 5v5 instead of 6v6. If they made it 5v6, I mean 6v6, it would have been really, really chaotic. And so I'm really glad that they did 5v5. We got to stop these guys here, bros. They're going to come up and they're going to try and uh, escort their robot. There you go. We got to place that there. I like that placement of the ch of the wire. I'm going to try and hit him with another flank. There's one. There's two. Come on. Just shoot it. What are y'all doing? Oh my goodness. This gun melts, dude. It, it fucking melts. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. No. Nice. Why does a robot look like Iron Man? <laughs> So now we have to escort the robot. I like playing Safeguard in BO3 a little bit. I didn't play it a lot. Oh, we have a Mantis too. Oh, that's lit. I'll be a good escort for the uh, for the robot. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the robot. Wait, why is he not moving? Oh, it's because no one's near him. All right, let's go. What if what if my Mantis is near him? Does that mean does that mean he can move? Dude, he's not moving. Oh, here we go. All right, all right I got you, bro. Wait, wait, no, this is my Mantis. Come on, dude. I need you to keep moving with me. Nice. We can't just stop because I got the Mantis. We got to keep going because I got the Mantis. We got, we're a little bit off of our streaks, a little bit. Need a couple kills in order to get our streaks. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, holy shit. <laughs> I don't know how I got that. Here we go. We're on a 10. He's like right here. I'm gonna watch our back. Of course, fucking fire, fucking shotgun, dude. How do you kill me in one shot? Ah, damn, bro. I did want to play for my streaks, cause like if I if you get streaks, then it's pretty much a GG. Then we have the streaks in order to get to the the, the final uh final destination here, bros. Oh man. Okay, with the fucking strobe light again. Don't want me to pull out a strobe light. I'll kick your ass, bro. Hopefully we can escort this, so that way, like, come on, just, let's just keep going, just keep going. I don't, I don't care if we die. I don't care if we die now. Right, get some health and everyone escort it. Get it in there. Get it in the hole. Let's go. Good shit, guys. Hell yeah. So we're on frequency, and I think after this game, after it's because like I want to show like safeguard, I want to show the mode, and then I also want to show what the new maps look like. So I think that this is gonna be the last game of safeguard, and then I'm going to show you guys the new maps. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> he called him choppy. Damn, son. Get it. Easy as shit. The mission's not nice. over. Go again. Yeah, just killed choppy. I mean, Dog, look at this team balancing. Foxy Grandpa. That name, wait. Really like fighting games, right? Wrong! 
Jesus Christ, swordfish, swordfish, swordfish. Okay. Let's go, baby. Later. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Shut the fuck up, yo. I literally won us the last round. Yo, people are so fucking stupid, dog. Dumb as fuck. I went 43 and 15, and I won because of our Mantis. We won that round because of my Mantis. He can fuck off, bro. Alrighty. So this is firing range night or night firing range whatever you want to call it and we're playing some team deathmatch I'm, I'm tired of safeguard i could play safeguard if like i had a team with me but uh i don't have a team yeah, i was able to drop streaks but that, that guy pissed me off because he was saying i didn't do shit but i won them that one round the one round that we won was because of me because i dropped streaks and like i feel like people don't understand that when people play objective they don't understand that when people drop streaks it's easier to play the objective don't i don't know how someone doesn't understand that or someone doesn't comprehend that so the scorpion eva the spitfire it shreds you guys probably want to run like fast mags or extended mags or both and then you guys probably want to run grip if you can't control your recoil possibly run quick draw i i think quick draw is a good attachment for this gun but it's not completely necessary you are using a fucking titan you are fucking bad so now i'm gonna use titan <laughs> 12 seconds later Look how easy it is. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. Oh, no, never mind. They spawn behind me, so it's not really easy anymore. Like, he just... Look at that shit. Three shots. And I had an SMG. A fast-firing SMG. Shouldn't I kill him? No! Dude, what the fuck, dude? Look how easy, like, do you, do you guys see how easy that is? And <laughs> you guys see how easy that was? I'm actually gonna root. I'm actually gonna run this way. See what happens. Really? Wow. No. Oh my God. We traded, bro. Holy shit. And then I spawned over here. Behind this guy. That's a terrible spawn. What is that? All right, guys. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys think that Black Ops 4 has the worst spawns in any Call of Duty? I want to know down in the comments. I just want you guys to respond with yes. Black Ops 4 or BO4 has the worst spawns in any Call of Duty. Or no, it doesn't. At first, when I heard about these two maps, I was like, why are we getting two remakes already? And the game hasn't even been out for like, you know, I don't even know how long. The game hasn't even been out very long. We're already getting like remakes of maps. Like why? And honestly, the only reason I thought that was because of the Black Ops pass. And I didn't want these maps being in the Black Ops Pass, and you know, Nero Cinema makes a good point. The other maps that were in Black Ops 3 that we got that were like remakes and stuff like that, they were never in the season passes either. They were always pretty much like free. So I don't know why these would be any little thing less than free, but you know how Activision is. Everyone knows how Activision can be. And that's just that's just how it is, man. I kind of like the nighttime maps or like the different setting of maps. I've always wanted Call of Duty to kind of do uh, maps where like, like for example, you could take Seaside or Firing Range and you could make them change the time of day throughout the match. So like at one point it would be day and then it would be kind of like midday and then it would be the end of the day. And do you guys think that the time of day should change like during the map? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think about that because I think that would be really awesome. I'm gonna run through here. Guys, also down in the comments, let me know what you guys run on your Spitfire, or like I've been calling it the whole the whole video, the Scorpion Evo. I don't know. I like the classic Call of Duty names. I like I like calling these guns the classic names, you know, because I mean, you can do it in this game because a lot of the guns resemble other guns in the Black Ops series, so you can kind of do that with this game. Damn, Avian, you sweating with the saggy, serif, saggy, <laughs> saggy, serif. <laughs> I have not tried the Wildfire Operator mod since the beta 
and the first weekend of the beta, I might add, because like the first weekend of the beta was like insane for the operator mod or for the wildfire operator mod. It was so good, dude. Like it was so good. Killing spree. No, 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 no. No, dude. Ah. Nice. Let's go, baby. Guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. What do you guys think of the new maps? And what do you guys think of the Spitfire? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.